hello and welcome to Cloudpunk, a cyberpunk adventure game. And I'm really, really happy to put those two words together because cyberpunk is pretty damn rare uh, when it comes to games. And adventure games uh, are not as common these days either. And this also has a voxel based uh, graphics. And I guarantee it, that's a plus. I just tried it out just to set up the volume. And uh, yeah, don't know much about it. Let's go. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, very optimistic. <clears throat> well, we got a car. We're playing GTA. Let's go. You're not gonna Control, get away. Come in. This is. Wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. Oh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver 14FB. What happened to him? He, he retired last month. Good for him. Not what? really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. That don't worry. You <laughs> won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Okay. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your Hava? Okay, I guess. I'm actually trying to get into accidents. I read your references. You're a good driver. But um. navigating a Hava around Nivalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, Wait, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Up a thousand miles? Uh, I think you're talking crap here, old man. Welcome to Cloudpunk. Thanks. Whatever that is. So I'm Rania, and we, need, we have a... a the position we can go to, and an entire city to explore, I guess. Oh. <gasps> okay, let's go. <clears throat> I like this, just in the middle of, like, no, no, no crap, just, we're in the car, let's go. No need for introduction, they, they really adds to the mystery, I like it. And. And the city looks awesome, and the cars look awesome. I fucking love it. Watch out! Ah, uh, no, no, no. Okay, I, I, I don't know what your uh, criteria it is for uh, a good driver, but uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know how I meet that criteria. I mean, you must think uh, very lowly of people. Oh, let's park. I, I, I'm parking. Let's fucking go. Woo! I'm out. Let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm coming in here. I'm picking up the payload. 14 FC. This is going to the Marrow. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Do I have a GPS? It's busy, and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town. Kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. What? Carminus was a great driver. Stoof. You got big Pick boots to fill. He <gasps> flew delivery for over 10 years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 FA? <laughs> Lasted one night. <laughs> Most drivers only last one night. They quit the job? One way or another, yeah. You yeah, seem like a nice that. kid, 14 FC. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. Everything else is just guidelines. I see. Huh. Seems like people don't retire, they just die. Hey, come here a minute. Why? Okay. We want to talk to you. 
Is that so? So talk. <laughs> what do you do? Delivery driver. You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. Pretty much. If you say so. Why you be nice to her? <laughs> she delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect then. You're sassy. Acting like you weren't afraid of us. <laughs> I ain't. Oh. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. <laughs> Razor, are you a shaving robot? <laughs> you don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, oh I like God. her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4-0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an um. android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Like what? Robbing people? <laughs> nah, much worse. Robbing Urban two renewal, people? bitch! Oh, yeah! Wait, what? Urban renewal? Yeah, community what? projects. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Very badass. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. I mean, no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in Navalis that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Hey, well, there's always luck, a plan B. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. <laughs> I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's alright. We ain't surprised they talk shit about hmm. us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. You stay loose, Cloud Punk. We see you later. You stay loose. Okay, okay. I like this. This was a really good conversation. We learned a lot about her, Rania, and uh, these uh, gangs as well, and the, the the world. Amazing. Really good conversation. Rania is inquisitive, compassionate, and also uh, more than willing to. Uh, Challenge her initial misconceptions. Welcome to my humble what? restaurant. You sound like the same guy. What, what can I get can you? I get you? Uh, I take a candy bar and a soda can and a crispy meat soup. Not bad. Thanks. Thank you. We got an inventory, I, I think. The rain get you down. Uh, See you again soon. Don't let the rain get you down. Seems like you will get me down. And I. Don't no, get the rig at you, dumb. Okay, I, I, I guess that guy is not exactly enthusiastic about his job. I can't really blame him, you know? You know, it's a job. I can't expect that he's gonna be like, Oh, look at me! I, I, so, I so love this job. You know, you gave me the stuff, you know? I mean, he was even optimistic about it. Because, you know, he wants to be he wants to be more optimistic, but it just can't be. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? No. Seen who? There's a strip club. Nari. To the left. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are Some you kind of stripper? okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I Maybe mean, do you have the club? somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. Sounds bad. I can see some of your endoskeleton. <laughs> no, oh. I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. I guess. Who's Nari? She is gone. And when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't well, want bad. to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Holy crap. Oh, um, sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. I like fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. Well... She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the Marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will. How do I reach you though? Just rando dude in front of the strip club. He's super emotionally attached enough. I, I suppose it, it really, really, really hurts when others just gonna like ghost you. Wow, her last words that 
uh, basically that she said that uh, he's the love of uh, her life and oh boy I can't go past let me okay I guess we can't go there right now but this is just like one area okay okay so I guess we're gonna be uh, on the lookout for Nari I mean the, the name kind of sounds like I don't know straight out of avatar or something at least kind of like I don't know it could be from anywhere but we just gotta watch out <clears throat> and uh, yeah, hop back into our car and let's let's head out. Actually, do the. It seems like we don't have a time limit, which is just a, a good decision on the part of the developers because you know if you want to rush and you just want to role play that you gotta deliver fast, then you can do that. If you if you don't want to do that, then you don't do that. You know, I can also I, I suppose explore be between the missions. Let's go. I should get into more accidents. Watch out! No. There's, there's not much happens. Uh, I suppose I have a really, really, really sturdy car. Which is a really good idea for a flying car, right? Where's the road? Just just like freestyling it? Oh, I, I guess we are. Why should I just stay in my lane? Everything is a lane here. If, if we had flying cars, would we still have roads? Or people would be just freestyling at big time. I kind of want to freestyle it. Oh, we got a call. Hey, uh, 14 FC, are you there? I just remembered I didn't talk to you about the Ascenders. I think I know how they work, Control. Yeah, of course I do. You do? They go up and also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14FC. Sorry, just making a kind of joke. Go ahead, Control. Hoppers are tuned to a vertical field frequency based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why you need the ascenders. They take you up or down the layer, and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and floor. But Hava's fly just fine outside Novalis without vert fields. Well, that's true. Your Hava will fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old ruined parts of the city that are off the grid. But the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping system. It was too fast. What's gonna happen to the conversation now that I went to the loading screen? And I'm talking, so I guess we are uh, sticking to this loading screen now. <laughs> Reserve power if your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight up to the spire too, right? That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. We shall see. No, take a left. Okay. Well. Oh, we actually have to land here. I was thinking of like, oh, should we land here just for the sake of exploration? I I kind of plan on just uh, having a good mix of uh, quest and just exploration. Without overdoing either, necessarily. Uh, pick up. I got a salt shaker with some oil in it. What else we got? Tricks deal. Did you try the okonomiyaki? Hell yeah. Isn't that a pancake? Um. Right! With fish flakes! Oh, it's to die for! I wouldn't trust the fish flakes here in Novalis. Would you like to appear on my food review channel? It's on all the nets. <laughs> Would I ever? We're looking for people to react to different stimuli. Can you pretend to be sick on cam? Can I ever? What? No. <laughs> no. What? There's a free meal in it for you. Or would you pretend to be really annoyed? The second Our one. Our viewers love that. I am annoyed. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. 
<laughs> what? I want to say yes. That's that's amazing. <laughs> what? Let me pass. We need to explore everything. Oh, let's open the inventory. We got stuff that's worth gold. Loot. Punch card. We got soda that gives me uh, run speed, I think. And candy bar that also gives me run speed. Okay. Sweet. I'm fast now. Should I just keep buying these candy bars? Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? What do you have? Oh, soda can. Easy vegan ramen. We're not buying that crap. Give me a soda can. Thanks for this. Y'all come back. You hear? Thanks for buying. Let, thanks for letting me buy a, a really overpriced soda from you. Hey, you. I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. Okay. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. I'm very busy. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first <laughs> night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Really? Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're really desperate for people. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents. The city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. What? It crashed. Okay. Good, good one, engineer guy. Um, so, well, let's take the lift, I suppose? <laughs> so this city's pretty fucked up. No one knows how things are working. Obviously, that guy was crazy. And we're never talking in my... Again, holo cash? I could use some real cash. I can't get him. A holo cash? Please enter my security code. Damn. Okay, I'm clearly an idiot. That's not it. No, okay. Welcome to Ashima Raymond and Seafood. My name is Eddie. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm not Thanks. hungry. Have a nice day. So, seems like buying stuff at these these uh, food places repeat quite a bit. I can wait. Can I eat a candy here? To okay, let's let's, hmm. let's drink a soda. So I'm I run faster. Oh, what is this? We found a memory chip. On the street, no one gives a damn. Then we're gonna later see like, oh, this is worth like 30 bucks. 
and no one cares. You guys are more rich bastards. I'm selling this to a, a sushi dealer later. You guys just wait. <laughs> uh, so what's on the left? Okay, uh, our quest target is uh, downstairs. We have picked up a punch card, which it's a punch card. Covered in holes, they seem random, but there is a pattern. The card itself is heavy on tech. It feels like it could survive a bomb blast. Okay. Specific. We can't go that way! We gotta go back! Alright. So we're going down. But the engineer might have a point. Uh, even if, even if he's, he kind of went crazy. Like, what would you do if you were kind of like almost responsible for taking care of of the city, and nothing seemingly did anything? Uh, although he's just one guy, so we don't really know enough. He, he could be just completely insane, and uh, guys kind of know what's going on because that's, you know, what he said. That's kind of hard to believe. Although AI is are certainly capable of taking care of stuff. But uh, stuff just doesn't, doesn't just keep working because, uh, like, yeah, just in tone. Oh First of all, this will change everything. Where do I sign? Oh right my here, boots. Mr. Carva. <laughs> Please call me Irwin. It's from my parents. Okay. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash, limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure, here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? You're, you're super just emotional think, attached to getting I rich. I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Wow. Two augments. No expense spared. What a sob story. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. Wow. It's all just a blur. Let's see. Just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's... Old toys. My ship models. The R7 ICBM. And Sputnik. The NASA shuttles. The UN Interplanetary 101. Why did they send these? It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, l let's see. Dear Irwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. That guy's at suicide risk. Oh my god. So... His parents died. He was super emotionally attached to the idea that uh, at least they had some money, and he's gonna be taken care of at least a, Good job, for the time being. I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Navalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Navalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. <laughs> nah, I like that. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. I we will. We need you to head up to the mercantile district. You're moving up in the world. 
What's the job? On my second mission? Same as always. Take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse. B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. Not a problem. Oh my god, that guy. So... He lost his parents. He was... He sounds Load quite dependent AI. on them. And Load assistant. Wow. Load computer. Stop every stops. Helper. <laughs> Do you want to activate the generic <laughs> automata? Yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. <laughs> Would you like to upgrade to my limited offer, monthly subscription, premium mode? No, just... How much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata is 1500 lim, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. Please insert storage media. Transfer in process. Automata personality camis will be activated. Okay, I'll just go over. Hopefully it's gonna be fine. I would like to uh, gather my thoughts about the first mission as well, because I like the thought-provoking nature of the the mission. It wasn't just like a, a drop down the package kind of deal, but we got to know the person or somebody. Twenty minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> deactivating. Please enjoy your new automata. Good day, Mr. Rania. <laughs> Got in the last punch. <coughs> Good job. Okay. So, wow. That guy. What? Control? Come on. Give me like two seconds. Hey, driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hava around the city like that. What do you that. mean? You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard Cloudpunk hava damage penalty fine. I'm not bumping around this hover. I may have scratched the paint. When I closed the door a little bit too hard. When I was delivering the package. But that was for the cause. Other than that, the, it's spotless. Okay, let, let's park. Oh my god. His parents died. And he was totally attached to the idea that He's gonna be taken care of, at least to to some extent. But his parents, I, I could say that oh, they 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 just totally took a gamble on life and uh, they just sold everything. But that wasn't the case. They had to sell the apartment, and uh, their big idea was just to uh, go off world. And uh, yeah, I mean, if nothing else, I suppose that guy has a huge hop uh, stop story. If, and there is uh, America Got Talent here. Then he the has lady? a good chance of winning it. You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? What? I can buy drugs? Juice and stimulants? Do I want to buy these? <laughs> Stimulating brain and muscle tissue to give you that extra boost. I don't know. Let's buy one of, both of these. Thanks. Let's let's find out one of these. <laughs> what are the, you folks those? from the East are good with me, but no sec. I just bought your drugs. I got bronze speed and something vision. Juice. If you or you know, this is vision. Okay. Alright, let's go to the mission, Ironfield. That guy's crushed. I'm not even sure what to say about him. He's definitely having the the worst. Well, maybe not the worst day in his life. You just you expect it to be driver. safe, and yes, I guess he's I'm not. From Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk. All right, here's a package. Don't open it. Don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. 
Okay, thanks. Is this real meat? What did I just say? Okay. Uh, no, we're not talking to the drug dealer. Hey, Control, come oh. in. Come in, 14 FC. How are you handling the Hava so far? I'm not even Hello, using it right now. Hello, this is 14 FC. Yes, everything is totally fine. Relax, kid, you'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster, even. Oh. Just remember, the highways channel an induction loop through your hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When you're on the highways, it's like the road is moving under you. You'll get a big speed boost. Use the highways to get as close to your destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical restriction. Corpsec defines the parking around the city to maximize traffic flow. I guess that's a good thing for us. And them too. Traffic jams seize up the wheels of commerce. If Corpsec have one priority, it's making sure business continues as usual. Memo for business. Alright, let's deliver. Don't know about that guy. Damn it. <laughs> I guess life is just gonna suck for a while. But most of all, you can't really expect anyone to save you. But he lost so much. He lost hope for the future, he lost his parents, and I don't even know he has anybody. And I suppose it could be really tough to... Uh, I don't know. How would you even get started, I suppose, you know? Look, look for some other purpose, you know? It could be other people, or it could be, like, some activity, but, you know, it probably has to be uh, both, you know? Or other... well... But that kind of covers it, I suppose. <laughs> but I suppose it's not really a question of what you like, but more of a question of what you need to do. Oh, it's a garage. Um, I scratched the paint. Maybe no, no, no. I didn't scratch it. Uh, some, some, uh, some, some bastard uh, scratched my paint. There's nothing wrong with it. It's spotless. Uh, how much for like a tune-up? Just like looking at it and say like, giving me the thumbs up. So my bosses think that, my, my bosses know that uh, this this hallway is the best hallway of all time. 440 <laughs> for gold to fix all the damage to the vehicle. Fuck. You can not offer this. Uh, I mean, uh, offered, uh, what am I saying? Afford to buy this. Okay, um, yeah, I guess that would be nice. I I'm just uh, repairing the hover. Is this my hover? I don't think so. This is a uh, company hover. Should I should I spend my money to upgrade it? Hey, 14 FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your hover, she'll look after you. That's what I always say. That's what you always yeah. say? No! If I get paid 100 for the missions, kind of like we got a 100 bonus, but I think I got 100 for the mission as well, and it takes me 450 to repair the, the bloody hover, I need to be a little bit more careful, a tiny bit more, like five times more careful. And at that point, you still can't afford anything. <laughs> Where am I trying to land? We got the parking sign here. Let's go! I got your stuff, mate! Hello, cash. Merchant! 
Here's what I can offer you today. Um, a hoodie, a bubble gum, some water. Okay, I'm gonna sell something. I got the coolant. Is this good for something? Plasteel parts, memory chip, broken augments, soda can, juice. We can sell it for the same price we bought it. Okay, so we're gonna sell the coolant, the plasteel parts, the memory chip, and the broken augments. So we now have some money. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Okay. I don't know why he was so into all of those. But hey, uh, knock yourself out uh, with the broken augments and the, the, the broken memory chip and some random crap. I really have a, a good eye for all the crap here. Plastic parts. I can even sell this. But it's not a priority right now. Maybe we want to buy uh, plastic bumpers for the car. Let's go! Yeah, I got your, uh, get your meat, mate. I have your delivery. Give it here. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat, has this been tampered with? What? No! Good. Most drivers ask what's in the package. Hmm, the smell makes them curious. What's in the package? Dinner. Meat. From which animal? What a strange question. Good day. <laughs> okay, okay. Could be dealing with the cannibal here. And he is... He, he wanted me to ask. So... Okay. Uh... Sure. Interesting job I got, but I guess I can be too picky. 14 FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Look, kid, we messed up. We need you to get through a CorpSec security checkpoint. Now, you've never been scanned by CorpSec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean file on you. They won't recognize me? <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot. So don't look suspicious. Or act suspicious. And don't mention Cloudpunk. Or me. No. <laughs> okay. That's not suspicious at all. Spark. So my record is is wiped. A stock. Hold up, lady. Let's see either your citizen good. license or your voluntary contribution. I wish you people would just call them bribes. What's that? Nothing, officer. Here's my details. Okay. I just have to create a new record for you and then... Hold, please. I'm getting a message in my earpiece. Yes, Agent Rio. No, sir. Her name is Rania. Cloudpunk? I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. Ma'am, are you now or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Cloudpunk? Never heard of them. <laughs> Hold, please. <coughs> yes, sir. She says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Yep. Okay, then. I'll do that. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our servers said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Want to play us some music? Maybe another time. Can I go through? Okay, I have, uh, I suppose, a clean record now to go through a security checkpoint. So that's gonna make uh, delivering stuff easier. And I'm definitely working for uh, something shady. Mm, 
Rory Alpha. Yo, what is up, listeners? This is your boy Rory Alpha giving you a shout out from Midtown, where I am with the people. Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the Undernet's hottest loudcast. Could you get the microphone away from me? Oh, we have here another stuck up young woman, <laughs> too busy shopping and using makeup. I call it fake up because it is really lies to trick men. She doesn't even have time to talk to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers. Very manly. That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? Ooh, ooh. And your show is about? Finally giving the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. I don't think you want me on your show, and I sure don't want to be on it either. Now let's try to talk to someone better, bro brothers. We gotta find the real voice of the people. We need a real man on this show. Am I right? How about that corpse sec officer? He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. All right, bros, we're gonna boost now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell, and I, I gotta go. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, this guy. <gasps> I really like the writing. Okay. And I really like the main character as well. I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a person who is just very, uh, well. Gets more invested in character-driven uh, stories than uh, uh, story-driven, plot-driven stories. For me, uh, compelling characters are quite important. But of course, like uh, I, I do really like the word here, but Rania is quite interesting as well. She's uh, compassionate, uh, curious, uh, resourceful, <laughs> sassy. Alright, coolant. And that's it. That's all we got. Return to my vehicle. As next up. Okay, so I got a clean record. I'm working for uh, a shady delivery service, but you know, I, I can't plausibly deny that I'm just like, hey, I'm just uh, cruising in the city. <laughs> I'm not working for Cloudpunk. Because, like, hey, do, do you really work for Cloudpunk if, if they can't prove it? You know, it's it's only matters what they can prove. And currently I'm just, uh, I'm just cruising around the city, you know? I like sightseeing. And uh, getting paid for it. I mean, not by club, just just cruising. It seems like I could make a living just by picking up random stuff off the, off the street. Your automata custom personality is ready for instantiation. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes, Hell yeah. please. Camus, are you there? It's you. <laughs> I missed you. How are you? Happy? What am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I can afford right now. I was a bad dog? No, you were the best, Camus. I am just a hova now. Not as good. I know, I know. We'll get you a new body, I promise. It will just take a while. I have a new job. You don't play music anymore? I like music. Me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. I oh had to God. move us to Navalis. Oh no, we hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. I am helping. Yeah, we're a team, right? I will help. I feel not so good though. I am sleepy now. It's the automata slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited, and the hardware runs at a lower clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't understand. Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded, but that's not supported with the hardware we have. Uh... That means it might take you a bit longer to figure things out, but you'll get there. I'm sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And Camus... I missed you too. Best AI ever. Holy hell. I just landed to loot have some stuff while we were listening to that. Can't say that I have. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Certainly will. Okay, so we can't get in there. We definitely can't get holo cash. 
And I saw two people on the streets that we can possibly talk to. We sent someone else. We need you to... Damn it. Sorry. We need you to pick up a package from Cambria Heights. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Wait. 14 FC. Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good luck. Yeah. Guess good time. Let's, let's talk. What you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Very obvious thief. <laughs> you you're literally selling a purse? Aren't you supposed to just Oh, I guess it's a designer purse. I wouldn't understand. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Can you Hey, come back anytime, lady. <laughs> his his face doesn't quite match his voice though, right? Okay, what about you, Evelyn? Oh, what is this? Enter apartment? Do I know you? Do I know you? Don't what? know. If I knew you, I might not know. Let me try this again. Why are you hanging around outside my apartment? Ooh. Are you with the Debt Corp or Corpsec? Are you spying on me? I am your neighbor. Shouldn't you be in your apartment then? I am waiting to talk with you. What do you want? Not weird. I want to know if I know you. If we used to know each other. If we were friends. No, I just moved in. I've never met you before. Are you okay? No. You're an android, right? So did you have a firmware upgrade that went wrong or something? I hear those can cause androids to lose their memories, I think. No. Do you remember my friend, Dr. Zizic? We live next door. No, I told you I just moved in. She is missing. I am alone. Look, I'm really busy. I just moved here and I barely have any money. I don't want money. Why would you say that? <laughs> I didn't ask you for money. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I'm the best person to help you. I don't know anyone else. There's some homeless shelters for androids downtown. I have a home. What do you think I can do for you? There is a card. It was posted into your mail. I think it is for me. That's oh. it? Just a card? Uh, not a yes, problem. I need it. It is how I will start to come back to me. Oh, I'm not sure how do you know that. So I can get into my apartment, can I? Pick up stuff. Pun punch card. Is there anything else here? I can buy upgrades. What? Upgrade the fridge. Old pizza, ice cream, and kombucha. Fresh butter. Just think of all the things I can't afford to put in here. Wow. This city is very depressing. <laughs> I found your punch card. Uh... Is that what you want? I don't care about the punch card, you can have it, but that's all I got. If that's not it, then I, I don't have it. I found the card, you can have it. Thank you. So, what is it? A punch card. Which is... A relic. Dr. Zizitz liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players, but this card... I know this is just the first of many. Where are the rest? You don't want me to check with all our neighbors, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. So, where is Dr. Zizic? She is also scattered. You mean... Last month, the 1875 B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B, while the launch bay doors were still closed. One of a series of systemic failures that took place across a range of Novalis's safety protocol algorithms the explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's Hova. So she's... I'm sorry. You did not know her, but thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Novalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. 
So you are Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. Still, you were saving lives and... Please do not tell me how to label myself. Sorry. So the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous out there. It was. But Nivalis is dangerous too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery. But there was hope. Friends. I have not found those things here yet. Will you set up practice here in Nivalis? I don't know. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us. But it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. I travel around the city, so... It would help me a great deal. Please bring me any you find. I will. And if you need anything else, well, we're neighbors, right? We can look out for each other. Yes. Neighbors. So you want random punch cards? Wow. Okay, so you came to Nivalis with your doctor friend, and uh, she died. And she kind of lost her memories. Well, she didn't lose her memories, but... Her sense of self is a little bit in question. I, could, I, I like the fact that she uh, doesn't label herself as a doctor. Because people like to do that quite a bit. And it's always very refreshing if, uh, you know, people just don't do that at all. Like, oh, oh, I, I'm this or that or that. No, 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 no. You, 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 it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. You yeah. know? It's most annoying when people just use it just to try to gain some credibility. Like, come on. If you know what you're saying or doing, you know, that should be, that should speak for itself. If not, then, you know, bring up that, oh, I I'm this, so uh, listen to me, or, oh, just let me do it because I, I know that, no, 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 just, I don't know. I know it's not necessarily, like, uh, a good idea every single time, but, hey, she seems also be, uh, to be depressed. Anyway, uh, I think this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching and see you next time.